what uh, what are your goals and ambitions with your bonus round? Well, um, you know, it, kind of looking ahead towards the short term, I want to continue making my book that I worked so hard on to perfect, making that a priority and, and pushing that because, you know, I had to recover, get on with my life, become financially independent, you know, way before the medal occurred. You know, I was in the middle of my sophomore year at the University of South Carolina when I got the call from the president and I found out I was going to be awarded the Medal of yeah, Honor. Yeah, was it four years? Is that the timeline? Four, four years from, from that date? That you found out or, or were Got awarded? injured in November, and I received the medal in June of 2014. Okay. But, you know, with all of that said, I'm so thankful the chips fell the way they did and the timeline worked out the way it did because, you know, I'm not financially motivated. I know selling copies comes with a good book that you want people to read. Sure. But I truly just wrote it to help people and to take, all the silver linings and the perspective through the good, bad, and ugly, the lessons I learned through those long, dark, hard nights, and you know, convert them into a terminology and lessons that anyone and everyone can understand. So in the short term, you know, I want to, through my speaking that I, I've already done, I've been doing, and now this book, continue to hopefully impact and connect with people. And uh, I think in the long run, um, I'm not exactly sure. My journey has been interesting, to say the least, and many giant and unexpected turns. But, you know, a very low point for me that I discuss in the book, uh, you know, I came to a point where I realized, okay, I might not know where I'm headed, what I'm doing, I might not even know what 12 hours from now holds. But, you know, I got kind of into this routine of telling myself every day, I might not know what I'm doing, but if I work hard, you know, treat people right, try to do the right thing, and just keep taking, you know, that one small step, one after the other, you know, I, I can't go wrong, and it's got to take me somewhere. And so I, I've kind of just stuck to that, and I kind of take take things as they come and just go with the flow and try to do the best with what I have. But, you know, like I was saying, when it's all said and done, uh, I just want for myself to live a life well-lived and for others to look at my life as not an example of how to be a good person or a hard worker or anything like that because I would be the last person to you know <laughs> claim on those things but and tying in with the book you know take me and my story my name you know the Marine Corps anything you want that defines my story take it away with my life and with this book what I want is people to just see realize and understand what the human spirit can go through and how hard you can get knocked down and you truly can come back better and stronger. Now, you might be a little different physically, mentally, or emotionally, and that's absolutely okay. But that you can truly come back better and stronger than you were before whatever it was that knocked you down. Um, so I can't believe like some of the things that I've you know, been through and gone through, and it's still very surreal. But at the same time, I have surprised myself, you know, when I crossed the finish line of that marathon with tears in my eyes because, you know, when I couldn't even sit up in the bed, I, I had that goal. And, yeah, it's amazing to do a marathon, and that's crazy. 
but to set that goal in the worst shape of my life, mentally and physically and emotionally, breathing through a tube, my dad's having to hold a bedpan under me while six to eight people held, you know, medical staff held on my tube so I could lift up and go to the bathroom. Like from that to crossing the finish line of a marathon, you know, take me out of it, people. Just look at you know what you can what you can make it through and what you can survive and not only survive but come through maybe change but still smiling on the other side